Hello, and welcome to the Healthy Home Show. I'm Richard Mullen, your host and indoor air quality specialist, and I'm the owner of Pure Air Pro, a local inspection service. And we offer mold, moisture, roof, foundation, and radon inspections. I'm affectionately known by many of my customers as the mold guy. Uh, when that first happened to me, I wasn't sure it was uh, a good thing or a bad thing, but I've learned that the people kind of rely on me. And so they call me their mole guy, and I'm satisfied with it. Mm -hmm. Our goal for this program is to help home homeowners and apartment dwellers to become efficient at keeping their home dry, safe, and clean. Our guests are experts in different fields, and they provide different products. And today, the mole guy has a very <laughs> special guest, and uh, it's going to be the junk guy. Hey, here I am. <laughs> And uh, Joe, hmm. how do you sp pronounce your last name? It, it's D. Pamphilus. D. Pamphilus, just yep. like it's written. Just like it's written. Okay. D. Good. Pam no. and Phyllis. D. Pam and Phyllis. Yeah. Good. Cool. Exactly. Okay. Easier than it looks. Okay. And uh, he's the owner of uh, North Shore Holland and Junk Removal, located right here in Beverly. Yep. Uh, and you're a Beverly resident? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Endicott uh, College as well. Oh, you went to Endicott yeah. too. Oh, yep. Cool. So been here Did, a while. Yeah. You do two years or four years there? Four, my master's. Too. Wow. Yeah. And your master's? Mm hmm. Well, that's a very pretty, uh, well, we've got a prestigious oh, people here. This is more, take than it I, easy. more than I expected. <laughs> so, wow. Didn't mean to <laughs> overwhelm you so early. <laughs> okay, I know. All right. So I'm just going to ask uh, Joe, which I usually do, a few questions and just find out about what he does and how he does it. And I'm always relating services to those things about keeping clean, dry, and safe. Sure. So how long have you been in the uh, operating Nashur uh, Hauling, and uh, how would you get into the business? Yeah, thank you for asking that, and, and thank you for having me. I, we've been in business now, proud to say, for five years. Okay. Um, we started the company um, because we discovered that there was a great need uh, for donating and recycling locally. So we, we really go out of our way to um, make sure that things we haul away are properly um, disposed of or repurposed or whatever the case might be, whether it's donation, recycling, or disposal, we carefully choose which way that goes. And um, like I say, everybody needs junk removal <laughs> and at some so point or later. another. Exactly. The, uh, well, you know, that's, uh, that's an interesting point because I... I'm, mm. Can remember being uh, at a hauling station, sure, and seeing some real good stuff going in there, and the and the, uh, the front right. end loader was just crushing it up and grinding it all totally. up. Totally. And, and you know, I said to myself, you know, there's probably somebody who could really use that. But yes, and and thankful to Beverly Bootstraps, um, they're very local, obviously, and yeah. they take in, they're just tremendous, and they take in a, a really good amount of what we get that's in decent condition and we pay it forward that way. So uh -huh. um, that's part of our mission and our purpose. And we're very thankful for them and other charitable local um, organizations. Well, well, I like that because that's something you don't have to do. I mean, you could take it to a landfill, right? Or yep. A station and just Crush transfer it, up. it and boom. Yep. Well, the good. I'm glad to hear that because I think that's part of our mission too is mm. to, uh, to get the, uh, do as much positive as we can and stay as green as we can. Exactly, and I'm, I'm glad you said that because we are a green company. So when mm -hmm. you use us, you are eco-friendly, and like I said, we go, I think I have a little picture here. Um, this is a, an example of when we go to Beverly Bootstraps, just some, some items that okay. you, know, you might not think um, can be repurposed, but there's a home for them, and there's someone that needs them, and, and um, it's well documented that we do this weekly. And so, you know, if That's you great. use us and when you use us, there's a good chance that someone else will be able to reap the benefits of, of, um, of booking our services. Oh, that's really good. I, I think that's great. That's a great picture. Of your you know, I like your logo. Thank you. What did, who did the logo? Did you do it yourself? I, well, or, or you have it done. The, the, my skills aren't aren't quite as good <laughs> as that, but it was it was in my brain first. The vision was there. You knew there. what you wanted. Um, I wanted kind of a. Um, we call him the green man uh -huh. and um the, the green represents uh recycling and donating and paying it forward so he's got his thumbs up and the recycling symbol around our state and um there's a little star on the north shore part of it so 
hopefully in a glimpse you can sort of capture what we're all about. Yeah, no, that's it's, and I know it's hard to come up with a good logo. That's why. Yeah, I saw it, that. And I, I said somebody put some thought. This wasn't something that was not the first rendition. Just, right. That took a little bit of doing, but it was worth it. The uh, well, give me an idea of what um, for the junk man. What, mm -hmm. What's the uh, a typical day like for you? It's a great question because everybody's different. So we we bring we bring one of these. Um, commercial dump trucks, just like the big corporate companies have, like 1-800-GUT-JUNK, mm -hmm. and um, they can fit uh, 16 cubic yards worth of, uh, worth of items. So um, what happens is people have different, you know, amounts, and we charge affordably based on the space. So it's always fair that way, mm -hmm. and you, no, no job is too big or too small. Someone might just have a couch. Someone might have a garage and a basement or a full house clean out. Mm -hmm. And we work with realtors often as well. So whether you're selling your home or you're just doing some spring cleaning or you're getting a new mattress, um, there is always sort of a need. And it really helps to stay organized as well. So through our day, we send a, few tr a fleet of trucks out and we book customers based on their needs whether it's a garage or a couch or whatever it might be. And we go, we're up and down the North Shore. Um, and through the day, we go to recycling centers and we go to donation centers and um, we visit customers and take what they need, help them get organized and mm -hmm. help them uh, declutter. And also just, you should see the looks on some of the people's mm -hmm. faces after, especially with, it's a very um, uh, steady habit to just put things in kind of a catch-all area. Yeah. And that can accumulate, and what people don't realize is it really takes up a lot of space and time and energy in your home. So um, to get rid of it is, is an immensely good feeling, and you should see people are, are very pleased when we leave because it's like a, a weight has been lifted and they have their space again to use it however they need to. It is it's strange to see that, that, that comfort because... And that's such an awesome feeling for us. And I don't know how many times I've been in doing a mold inspection. Yeah. And I tell people, you have to get rid of all the cardboard and all the paper and all the textiles. Totally. Because that's food for mold. And mm. once it's gone, I mean, they have a healthier house. So. Right. But, you know, when I was, as you were talking, I realized mm. there's, a, there's kind of a, a level of psychology in this, too, that you're involved in when you... A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's, you know, I know we joke the junk guy, but it's <laughs> really about customer service uh -huh. and understanding that everyone has a different need for this and they have a different personality and they have a different timeline and a deadline when it needs to be done. And so we really truly believe that we have the best customer service to see what the need is and then structure our project based on what's going on and being understanding and um, sort of working with the customer. And, and we there's a level of psychology when you think about um, how long someone's had this stuff in their house or sure. if they're getting a, a new couch delivered and are worried about well i don't know when to book because i don't know when the new couch is coming so what can you know, i do transfer and coming and going right? right and then and so and when people are moving there's family members and there's elements there that um that need to be sorted through to appropriately get the best result and we believe that we do a great job to just take somebody fresh, get all the information, come up with a plan, and give them the best possible experience that they can have. So I would almost guess talking to you that your, your motivation in this business actually comes out of, uh, you seem like you love to, be, love to be a problem solver. Yes, totally. That, that's kind of like a skill that you have. Yes, it's, it's, um, it's gratifying for me. Mm -hmm. to to see um, what the scope of the project is and then someone's worry or stress is very evident in what's going on and when they need to get everything done and for me to be able to come in and facilitate that for them is is really gratifying yeah yeah it's, it's that 
extra kind of a reward. Sure. And, and sometimes and it's I, the most important. And part. a lot of times people don't have great, they don't have, they don't know when they call, say, all right, so what do you, what do you guys do? Yeah. How do you do it? And what is, how can I go about all this? And they're overwhelmed and they're, they don't know which direction to go in. And so well, I always say, we say, we want this to be an easy, stress-free process for you. Mm -hmm. It's very cut and dry in terms of how we work things and how we price. The price is based on the space. Items fill up in the truck. So it's always fair. And that way people feel comfortable that they're not, they can fill it however much they want based on what they have. And um, that's kind of the gratifying part to see people um, appreciate the, the service because sure. they, they have, it's, a, it, it's always an issue, it's a problem. Or they have, um, some people do home renovations and there's a lot of construction debris outside. And, you know, uh, maybe they had other plans for it and those failed and now they're stuck with all this construction in their yard and we come rather than getting a dumpster we come and just handle it with two professionals we have a, a big container on the back of our truck and it's gone and mm -hmm. our tops yeah and so rather than have a dumpster sit there, sit there for, for five days yeah. with animals and neighbors and sure you know all the problems that go into that our service is it's it's quick it's professional it's efficient and we're, we're friendly guys yeah and I'm sure some of these, I mean, I've been involved in a couple of these myself, mm. is that when, and, and uh, it's a, it has to be a sensible part of your job, too, is when someone passes away, mm. they have a house full of memories that are really important yes. to them, their family, and everybody remembers a part of it. And then somebody's tasked with taking this stuff and choosing what goes where. And right. I think Fam your part Family is, members. Yeah, family members. And li like you were about to say my part is huge because the comfort level that people feel when they understand that someone's taking the time to not just show up with a truck but really understand what's going on here mm -hmm. they have to wait for their family member to come next week and they're going to sort through x y and z and mm -hmm. see if the piano is going to go yeah. or if they want the bureau that they had when they were in their bedroom when they were 12 yeah. years old yeah, and there's you have to be patient with that process, but people are. I'm proud to say, as the owner, we have 200 plus Google reviews, five stars, and nonetheless, because we really do go out of our way to care in that sense. Mm -hmm. And everyone is different, so sure. we we take that very seriously. Now, one of the things that I come in contact with with the mold side of the business is that. <clears throat> Uh, when I come across a hoarder, mm. and that's a whole special area. I mean, it's a specialization. There's all kinds of things, but I've found that the person who is hoarding mm -hmm. doesn't see it as hoarding. They see it as really worthwhile stuff that they want, and they don't want to get rid of. And exactly. And it's a, it's a game. I mean, it's it, it, it is. takes so much effort and to empathy. get someone to see that. It, right, and you don't want to make anyone feel bad about their situation. Yeah. Um, and a lot of times people feel great when we tell them that we're going to go ahead and take the time to make sure that this goes in the right direction. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why if you go on our website, you'll see dozens of pictures of us going to donation centers and, um, and paying that forward. Because a lot of times hoarders don't want to get rid of anything because they... It has sentimental value to them, mm -hmm. but also they don't want to see their stuff wrecked. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's a, it, it's a, a difficult, and I found it difficult too with mold because I have to tell somebody, sure, you, you can have this, sure, and not have mold. If you want mold, you can have this, right? But there's a choice in here. Yep, and, and you it, put the ball in, in their court. Yeah. It's their decision. It's not yeah. ours. We're just here to help and yeah. facilitate it. And we can tell you how we're going to help, and hopefully that makes it feel a little bit better about mm -hmm. the process. Because anyone who has too much stuff, and if you're moving, every, everybody who's moving needs junk removal because <laughs> they're not taking everything with them. Yeah, hopefully, right. <laughs> anyone who's moving is not taking every little thing, and they usually um, are going to have big-ticket items that they can't put out on the weekly, with the weekly collection. And so... 
you know, there is that extra touch of us being local, but having a bigger product, like our product supports the big corporate companies like 1-800-GUT-JUNK. Mm -hmm. um, we have the same size truck, but we're local. Right. So you don't have to call the big company. You can just call us and you get the same product at a better rate. That's right. really important to people. Well, I think the local part is. I, I know when I talk to people um, and, and they're calling contractors, mm. they're, they're looking at, you know, somebody from the other side of Boston. Right. Well, I mean, here's what I compute. Let's see. Yeah. They're, they're driving all that mileage. Uh, somebody's paying for the gas. And, mm -hmm. you know, it sounds good. But if I could find somebody local, sure, I'd always go local. Yes, that's that's my but, whole thing. Yeah, go local. And thank you. Um, and that's that is a very general sort of mentality um, from a lot. Of, this is a we live in a great city, and we have a wonderful support system in the North Shore, and it and it's really really great to see the support from people and for us right? to be able to go big, get the big products that can facilitate the big jobs, but be the local people for mm -hmm. the people. Oh, that's, uh, I, I love local. The, exactly. uh, let's see, what I have, uh, uh, where's the question I want to hear? Me? Oh, you know, the big question is, Ooh. I can't forget this, mm -hmm. and I hear it all the time because when I'm doing mold inspections, somebody has taken... The old mattress and they're stuck it in the garage or the uh -huh. cellar, and it just absorbs moisture. Sure. And the next thing I go in, and I can always know, more than likely, I'm going to see mold staining on there. Yep. Now, you take mattresses, is that correct? We do, yes. What's Thank the you. process? In the way? Thank you for asking that. We go out of our way to go to a recycling center for those. Mm -hmm. um, and it's in Peabody. It's a great great setup that we have because we know how they do it. And the reason why mattresses got so complicated and difficult to just put out on a weekly basis, like they always have been, um, the, is because they really do pollute the air mm -hmm. when they're done improperly. So we go to a place that takes it apart because there's some metal in there, there's different fabric, and they do the right thing. And we, we literally make sure we go to a recycling center and not a transfer station or a, or a landfill to, to do this because the people and the companies that, that do, um, are, they're just breaking up that mattress and all those particles are going into the air mm -hmm. that we're breathing in. And so, you know, um, that is obviously extremely, extremely important, the yeah. air quality we have on the North Shore. And so every single day when we take a mattress, we're, we're saying we're going to do, we're going to make this air that we're all breathing in better for everybody. Well, now is the, the uh, Beverly, City of Beverly, mm -hmm. they now have a new standard or a, that you can't put mattresses, Correct. stuffed chairs, couches out. Yeah. And just to wait for someone to come and pick them up, right? And what do they do? What do you know about, about yeah. that standard? Well, this you can, you can go get a sticker. Um, most cities or towns will have a sticker you can pay for. And then, you know, now it costs money. Mm -hmm. um, before it didn't, you could just put it out. And wait. Yeah. So, so we're getting calls, you know, from because the people are still not privy to that information. And they'll still put it out. And then they'll say, oh, I didn't even know that I couldn't put this yeah. out. And then we'll say our price. Um, and so then they have a decision to make because sure, they can balance. sure and um, the 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 thing is it's whatever works for that person but it's with us we feel confident telling you that we do recycle the mattresses and okay. we we did our homework on that and we make sure of it okay and uh, the let's see what we want to get here did I ask you, are there any special licenses or certifications yes. required? Yeah, uh, well, we're fully licensed and insured, of course. We pay enough for it. We, oh, okay. we're, we're proud of it. Um, actually, that's right here. Oh, okay. So <laughs> anyone who's watching, <laughs> that's the proof right. is in the pudding, so to speak. Okay. Um, 
and it, it is important. And, and, you know, all joking aside, everyone wants to feel comfortable when they have someone in their house. Sure. And um, anyone has the, the right to know and ask. It's completely normal. Um, and I think that that will essentially, sometimes it's a, a make or break in a, in a service when they aren't maybe properly doing the right thing. It can be alarming for people. Well, I think any time I talk to a contractor on this show and in yeah. other public areas, yeah. I always recommend that, that my view is mm -hmm. feel comfortable asking for that, that certification of mm -hmm. liability insurance and workman's comp, because the problems, if they don't have it, will come back on a homeowner. And yeah. it's so much easier. And almost everybody I know, like the contractors, like you say, you're paying for it. Right. <laughs> We're and proud it's not it. cheap. No. <laughs> and it's part of the process. So. It's part of the process. And, yeah. you know, you can't do good business if you don't have the right things because people won't feel comfortable with you. And I think sometimes I mention uh, Chuck in the truck too often. <laughs> but Chuck in the truck, for anybody who doesn't know, is a probably unlicensed, un un mm -hmm. uninsured person who comes in and will give you a cheap deal. He'll, yeah. he'll take something and then really inexpensively and take it to the side of the road at night and dump it God in the lot. what. And right. unfortunately, that exists. So that's why I always say, you know, find out. you got a local guy. Yes. We see your trucks. Yeah. And I know personally you've done a couple of jobs I've recommended yes. to people. And, and thank said, you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you know what it is about, you know. Because when I talk to you on the phone mm -hmm. and never met you, mm -hmm. you sound enthused about what you're doing. Yeah. I mean, like, this is really cool. I like doing this. I can help you. <laughs> yes. I mean, I think that's the part of your personality that yeah. comes out. Thank you. Yeah, that's really uh, I and, and that means a lot. I think to people when yeah. bring it, bring kind of a mundane, boring service to life a little bit, and yeah. tell people how, what by booking us and using us, what they're really doing is helping, make the North Shore a better place. Yeah. We're recycling mattresses, creating better air quality, and we're also donating and recycling. So. You know, it's easy to just do the quick and easy thing, mm -hmm. um, but you don't experience real um, solutions to real problems without doing the right thing. Yeah. Okay, cool. I, that's great. Where do you see your business going in the next few years? You got a direction that's or are you just question. kind of uh, playing it by ear? Um, right now, we have a pretty strong fleet and our customer's base is growing. We are lucky and fortunate to have some wonderful partnerships, um, and those are, are enhancing like property management companies. Uh, Beverly Crossing is one of them that we have a great relationship with that we do clean outs and we call them junkathons, um, <laughs> where their residents will, you know, will have a day, we'll have a couple oh, trucks a there, idea. and then we'll go to maybe bootstraps with some of the items. So. Um, I, I see us growing, I see us enhancing our model of, of great customer service at an at a affordable price for, for local people. Um, and I would really love to be known for donating in the community is my number one goal. So growth, more trucks, um, helping more people on the North Shore. We'll, we'll go out probably an hour each way, north, mm -hmm. uh, east, south. Um, and we have a we have a great reach and we feel comfortable with that um, so assisted living is also a big part of our business that I see growth in um, mm -hmm. because of the process of that and our tone and um, attitude towards making that a stress-free process for people that are in that situation because again those things take time there's family involved mm -hmm. there's a process there someone might have years and years and years of stuff accumulated they're going from point A to point B. Um, so we, we also do small moves as well. So oh, okay. we can so facilitate that move um, and help with the clean out and then anything while they're there and the, or the family's there. So we have partnerships right now with, um, with The Current in Beverly. Um, also um, the ch Charter Senior Living, um, which used to be The Linden and The Current used to be Landmark. And um, the residences, which are Melrose, Swampscott, Ipswich, oh, Topsfield. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when we got into it um, in the beginning, we had some of these situations arise. And 
over time, those um, partnerships have grown. And fortunately, we've been able to help seniors really get ahead and into that process and, you know, at ease with that. And in the meantime, you know, donate some of their items. Sure. You know what, uh, what I liked about your service is I think the first time I ran into you and, and you actually had recommended someone use it is they, yeah. you can take a, a picture of what they have. Yes, thank you. And, and that worked because then you were able yeah. to give a quote over the phone. Right. And, th and that works great, especially with the way that the world is, is gone and is going. And um, a lot of people are, are working from home and tied up and um, or at the office or whatever the case might be. And they might not have time to pick up the phone and call um, and list out all the items on the phone. And plus, we get a terrific idea just from the picture. Mm -hmm. So we feel very confident with our structure of how we price with someone sending a picture and saying, okay, here's, we charge on space and here's where we think you might line up. And um, then just going and doing a, a great job for them. All right. And and we, we do like broom sweeping too. So if any, say there's a garage and um, we clear out the garage, we'll, we'll, we do a little sweep up after. So it looks well. good when you leave. Yeah, yeah. it looks yeah. nice. I, mean, I like presentable. that. Presentable. Yeah, your workspace looks great and say, wow. And that's uh, why the, you, it's, it is this kind of instant gratification uh -huh. after our service. And that's what makes it so awesome because people are thrilled when we leave because all the stuff that they've just been walking into and seeing and couldn't get over. And it's just where, you know, it, it clouds your mind and your thoughts. And you don't even realize it. It's such a subconscious yeah, thing. No, it is. And then when it's gone, you're just like, wow, man, I feel great. Now, one of the things I like, we only get a few minutes left, but I do want to say that I like mm. is you have a very friendly Facebook page. And mm. people can sign up and get on and you'll, you can send them emails or whatever you got coming up. Yes. Yeah. 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 And, and Facebook's terrific. Instagram, um, those platforms are great because mm. people, it's like um, a place where people can feel comfortable posting things that they and they don't have to and pick get up the phone you. yeah and get to know us right. and and uh that's that's a great piece of of how we do business and we market so okay that was a quick half hour wasn't yeah. it <laughs> i'm telling you i got more questions yeah but let's do anyhow, this again uh i want to thank you very much for tuning in and thank i you. hope you learned something and I'm, I'm great for joe to come here and spend some time but we want to get him back on the road yeah the junk man is on his way <laughs> thank you richard thank you guys